Hello, internets. I think I've got my audio issues worked out, and I decided that rather than just playing a bunch of YouTube videos about Fallout hype, I'll show you what um, I'm planning to do with my character when we get the game going in about 10 days and some hours. I'm dying of hype, and so I have spent many hours considering what I'm going to do, and this is what I'm looking at right now. I want to start out with a pretty high strength and intelligence score, then agility and perception, and charisma, and I'm going to sacrifice endurance and luck. And the reason I'm going to sacrifice endurance and luck is because in the new leveling system, when you get your level up point or whatever, you can actually increase these. So I'm planning to do that really early on um, after I get some of the perks that I feel like I need immediately. But I'll probably bump these up to two or three before I even do that, just to get everything um, a little bit even. So let's take a look at the perks that are available. I've got to have my science perks and my hacker perks and my lockpick because just because I've got to get into everything. I have to have access to everything. I really hate being shut out of areas of the game and um, I want to get my nose into everything that I can possibly pick or hack or break my way into. And I'm really jazzed about the crafting system so I want to get the, the gun nut and the weaponsmith um, perks as well. I'm not going to do a melee focused playthrough for my first playthrough, so I may not worry about the weaponsmith perk as it looks like it's exclusively melee, but I definitely want the armorer perk and I definitely want strong back because I'm totally a hoarder and I've got to pick up everything that I see. Um, let's take a look. This, this, uh, the Grim Reaper sprint has been changed. It used to give you, like, refill all your action points when you got a kill, um, but now it does something different. It gives you a better critical hit bar, um, which is not anything like what it used to be, but this kill shot here looks like it will be more similar to the old Grim Reaper sprint, where you can uh, maybe get an enemy down to 50% health and then pull a kill shot where you've got a guaranteed kill or something like that. So this um, luck is definitely going to be something I want to put a lot of points into early on as I start to level up. Um, and I'm probably going to let endurance slide um, until I've got more of a well-rounded character that's able to do some crafting and lockpicking and sneaking and all that good stuff. Um, and then I'll fill that out after I've got my basics down but I definitely want to get up to this sniper perk because I like to sneak and pick people off from long range. And um, avoidance, I'm not quite sure about, but uh, this is what we're looking at for, for walking out the gate here. Got to get the strong back immediately. Got to get action boy. Got to get uh, sneak and gun nut and probably attack dog. I think that the, the dog meat is going to be really, really useful in Fallout 4, and I want to make sure I max him out pretty early. Rifleman is, I believe, single shot rifles, and Commando is automatic rifles. I tend to use single shot way more than automatic, so that's what I'll be going for first. And then armor, because I am a tinkerer, and I really want to explore the crafting system. And I also want to get um, up here to this local leader here, because I want to do the base building and really play with that and see if I can get uh, that happiest happiness level that gives you the achievement. Um, so that's what I'm looking at. Join me on the hype train, and I hope to see you all on November 9th at midnight, or as soon as I can get Steam to let me launch the game.